Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will share with you how I made this Notion setup, which is perfect for school and for us students. By the way, I have a previous video where I shared on how I created my complete Notion setup. I will just link it below. Anyways, here is a short walkthrough of the template I made. Moving on, the first thing we have to do is to add a new page to our Notion. Add a title. In this case, I typed academics. Then by clicking on the three dots in the corner, you can choose a specific style you want to apply to your page. There is also an option whether you want to use a small text or a full width page. Next is to add an emoji or a photo on this part. This will serve as a profile picture to your page. You can also use a GIF, copy its link address, then paste it here in Notion. You can also add a cover photo. Here I just chose a picture from Pinterest. You can upload an image or paste the link here. I then decided to place the academic text in the middle, so I just added some spaces before it. Next is to add a callout by pressing the slash key and type the word callout. Click the color option and choose the default background. Add a title. Here I added the word schedule. And next is to open a text generator and I will just type the days of the week. Choose a style you want and click on it to copy the text. Go back to Notion and paste it here. I will be creating separate columns for each day and to do that, just press enter after a word then drag that remaining text to the last portion until you see this blue vertical line which will indicate that you can create a column. Repeat this process for the remaining days and after that, just adjust the space by dragging the column line between each word. You can also place them in the center by applying some spaces. You can now type the subject name and the time of that class. To enter a text below within the callout, just press shift and click enter. After adding that, drag it again and add it to a specific day and make sure that there will be a horizontal line that will appear which will indicate that it will be placed within that column. You can copy and paste the callout and just edit the text. Next, I just open Icons 8 to search for some icons. This one is optional and you can just use the emoji within the Notion website. But for me, I think an icon will look prettier. So I will just search for some architecture icons. You can search for any icons that you want that will correspond to your subject. Once you choose an icon, right click on it and click the copy link address option. Go back to Notion, right click on the call out emoji, paste the link of the icon you chose earlier and click submit. Repeat this process to all of your subjects. Then here I decided to change the font style of the subject name. Just copy the text and paste it to a font generator and then choose a style that you want. Copy the text then paste it back to Notion. And repeat this process for all of your subjects. Next, you can add a divider. Then under it is that you can place your to-do list or your task list. You can also add a photo or a code to personalize it. Then here I make use of the column feature of Notion. You can add some properties to your to-do section which will allow you to easily group your task by subject or deadlines depending on the properties you added to your task list. To 
break out from the column you created, just add another line below it and make sure that the line is on its own. I then used the call out feature again and applied a default background, which I think this looks very clean and has a minimalist vibe. You can add your own title, but here I will place some links, reminders, and my grades. I will also change the icons of each call out. Just repeat the process earlier, look for an icon, copy its link address, and paste it here in Notion. You can now add the content for each call out. Again, if you want to add an additional line within the call out, press Shift, then click Enter. You can make use of the other features of Notion. I just used the toggle list and their table feature on the callouts. In this part, I added some widgets on my Notion page. And to have this, visit Indefy.co. They have a ton of widgets. Here, I just added a calendar. So this is from the Google Calendar. And I also added a weather widget. You can customize them on the website. Next, just click on the file icon below to copy the link and paste it into Notion by embedding it. And you can also resize them. I added another divider and a title that says subject. I also placed a background color to this line to emphasize it. Next is to insert a gallery view of a database. You can add a title to your database or hide it. Click on the first page, add an icon and a cover photo. Add some properties. You can copy the properties I placed here or you can add your own depending on your preference. Continue with an empty page. Here I added a list view of a database. Then I inserted another call out. Drag the list view of the database inside the call out. Then just adjust the spaces. I then added an icon and duplicated this entire call out. You can add your notes here or your files. Next, I added another column and then go back to the main academics page. Copy the task list and paste it into the subject page. Click on paste and sync so that each time you add a to-do from your main page, it will also reflect on each of your subject pages. I then added some links option below, but in your case, you can add other stuff that you want so it will be more personalized. You can add a photo or a code. After you fix your first subject page, duplicate it by copying and pasting the page. You also have to change the subject name and the properties. Next is to click the three dots and on the layout option, select the page cover option on the card preview menu and you can also select the card size you prefer i then added another column i just placed some notes a photo and archive and yeah this is what my academics notion page looks like if you want to have a copy of this template i placed a step-by-step -step guide below in the description box as well as the link to this notion page and that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and good luck with your classes and bye guys